Hello, Eddie Betts. Thanks so much for coming in to signing copies of your new book, The Boy from Boomerang Crescent. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. It's, uh, it's been pretty good so far. Awesome. You mentioned in the book that you are not the first Eddie Betts. Uh, can you tell us a bit about the two Eddie Betts that came before you? Yes, uh, I'm not the first, and you know, I put it in the book, and uh, my grandfather is Edward Frederick Betts, and uh, he is a part of the of South Australia, uh, with my grandmother, Peter Betts, and I have a son, uh, Edward Robert Betts, uh, who is my father, and, and then I was born, so I'm Edward Robert Betts Jr., and there's another one, and I had a son, this little one just right here, and he's Eddie Betts. So, not Edward, he's no middle names, so he's just Eddie Betts. So, once he, you know, this book, you'll probably think this book is his once it gets older. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's a great story. I can't wait for, for you guys to read it and find out more about the, the four Eddie Betts. <laughs> You're mentioning that, right? Writing this book would have been a very raw, intense experience for you. Was there a part of your life when you were writing about it that you that you made, you looked back on it in a, in a kind of new or different way? Yeah, it is, you know, going back and reliving your childhood. And my memory is blank a little bit, and I, had, I needed some help with family to, to remember what happened when I was little, and it was just my brain just blocking out stuff that happened in, in my youth years. But, um, you know, I learned a lot um, of, of my younger self, and if I, had, if I had to tell my younger me what to do now, just to keep being you, keep making the mistakes you made along the lines, because, it, you know, Turn you into the person that you are today. Yeah, um, yeah it was it was great, great writing the book, and you know, really pleased with how how it's finished. Yeah, absolutely. What do you hope you know your readers who you're signing the copies for will uh, will get from from ch checking your book out? Well, it's it's my journey um, from obviously since I was little, since I was born, all the way up to to now, and you know, and that people. Uh, been interested in my journey or followed my career along the lines and they know that I've hit some bumps along the way and uh, you know, that's come with racism um, and a lot of that is in this book and a lot of the, the, uh, the barriers that I've faced, uh, whether it's deaths in custody to Black Lives Matters to racism um, to educating organisations our black leadership looks differently. So I hope a lot of people get a lot of understanding and, and learn from it and and start those conversations with friends, families, their kids, and you know, especially when it comes to racism, we need to stop and call it out and uh, learn from it, understand it, um, and just stamp it out in general. So, hope everyone, when they do read it, uh, get a bit more understanding of how Aboriginal people in this country, um, that we start from here, we have to work our butt off to, to achieve something great. So, hope you enjoy it. Absolutely. And then last of all, what did writing the book teach you? Yeah, as I just spoke about just then, you know, going back and writing the book, it, it I kind of, I'm, I'm the other top person that likes to, to live in the present. I don't like to look to the future. I do plan and, and the best, but, you know, and then I go back to the past and, and I don't want to think too much because there's a lot of death and a lot of um, stuff that happened in the past. And, I just like to live in the present, and uh, looking back on it, going through it, I kind of pissed myself in the journey that I've had. So knowing how hard it was and um, to, to achieve what I've achieved now, it kind of taught me that you know that hard work pays off, and I want young, especially young Aboriginal kids, just to work hard, uh, go to school, educate themselves, get better education, because we need strong Indigenous leaders. Mm -hmm. In Australia, more more strong Indigenous leaders that are making decisions for us and our people. The better we're going to be. So hard work. It looking back on it, you know, knowing how hard I've worked till where I am today. So I guess that's what it's all for me. Yeah. Well, I hope everyone gets the chance to check out this awesome book that you put together. Thanks so much for coming in, Eddie. And it's all good. So it's a great book. I've always, my whole life. What I've done, I've done it with a smile. So that's why. Anyway, it's the boy from Boomerang Crescent. <laughs>